I finally have a Brinkley to show you guys. We just got in the Brinkley Model Z and these are new. It's a completely new brand altogether that has come out and they're supposed to be doing things a little bit differently. So we're going to check it out and see what I find different about it. What I think, obviously they're too new, haven't done any service on them yet. So I don't know as far as, you know, longevity, how they are. Again, they just came out. So I don't have too much on that, but we're going to cover a few things. For instance, the outside, um, you're going to notice that everything is very streamlined and very automotive looking. Everything from the frameless square windows with no rounded corners to the very straight decals and things like that. And then when we get to the rear, you'll see it, it just has an automotive feel to it. So for starters on the outside, going into the compartments, huge front basement here. And already I'm noticing fit and finish wise, everything is put together very well in here. Everything seems like it's done well. We have here, we have an outside faucet here. Do have an outlet, we'll switch for your lights in here. And then here is a really neat feature, access to the basement without having to take anything apart. So you can actually get in there. And oh, I'm noticing something different already. We've got wire loom on everything to try and keep it neat. Water pump is mounted up to a piece of wood up there. I'm not sure if that has something to do with getting rid of vibration or if that's just where they mounted it. But see the basement here is, I know it doesn't look very clean, but trust me, that's a lot cleaner than what these basements usually look like. So overall front storage compartment is really nice. I like that they use an entire LED strip so you can actually see in here. Moving along to the rest of the exterior, just starting here at the door, you do have a global electronic lock that comes from factory. You have a Lippert screen defender on the door and you have a Lippert door closer on the screen door as well. So the screen door will close on its own. For the steps, you do have more ride solid steps and you even get a handle on the outside. Again, not proprietary, that is made by more ride, but they install it from factory. Let's take a quick peek at something I spotted there. Warrantied for full-time living. Moving along from there, we do have two awnings. Uh, both of them are Solera, so again, nothing uh, different or new really. They're Solera awnings. Here's a closer look at those square frameless windows. So no outside frame and they have squared corners. I really like the look of those, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, this thing's filthy right now because it just got transported here and hasn't been washed, but they do have a really nice gloss lower radius and it seems very well built. It doesn't seem as flimsy as it typically does, right? black on white contrast will give you a better view of those frameless windows on the outside here. I'm a big fan of those. And again, just coming down to fit and finish. I mean, the sealants, everything is done really well on here. It's all very clean. Everything is clean. They're still new. So of course, a lot of them are going to be like that. Um, this is my favorite slide mechanism. This is my favorite slide mech for a lot of reasons, but we're going to get into the slides here shortly. But again, everything's looking pretty clean. See, not lots of nice loops, lots of nice wire looms. Everything's looking clean so far. There's that view of the back with that nice automotive look. And you do have a backup camera from factory there. They didn't skip out on any opportunities to add the word Brinkley or their logo anywhere, I promise. Same rack and pinion slide room over here. Again, everything's done really clean. In keeping with the uh, automotive look, you have a nice trunk back here, if you will. A little bit more storage on the exterior. You do have a standard Suburban furnace, and then you have a Furion tankless water heater, which is nice. Here's the other access to your basement. And you have your other slide here with a slim rack system. I want you to take note on something about this coach. There's not a single Schwintech slide room on this coach. I'm a big fan. Also, I'm gonna note that there are four slide rollers on this very small room which is a lot more than you would typically see on a five to six foot room. So bonus there. Coming to check out the inside compartment from this side, which we saw from over there. Here's your Nautilus water system. You have a retractable city water hose. You have electric dump valves, so you don't need to pull them. You just flip a switch to open your valves over here. And then you have your Lippert 3.0 electronic leveling system pad right there. Coming to the front, they did not just use those LED light strips we all know fall right off. 
I'm sure that's what's behind here, but they have a cover over them, gives them a nice glow, and they're protected from the elements. Very likely not gonna peel off. And again, with the Brinkley name, <laughs> I told you they didn't skip, but that piano black is looking really slick on here. So now that we've taken a peek on the outside, they're very simple on the outside, very streamlined, so there's not a whole lot to cover. I've covered the main things, which is the slide mechanisms. Again, no Schwintech slides, rack and pinion, or um, slim rack. And then, oh, let's take a peek at these, uh, those nice shoes they put on there, huh? So yeah, let's take a peek inside. Beautiful, right? Very simple, nice colors um, with it. So we're just gonna kind of make our way around and I'm gonna talk about the things I notice. This, I'm not gonna be able to do with one hand, is also an ottoman that you can move over there and this opens up like those coffee tables and there's storage in there. Um, again, I can't do it with one hand, I've tried. But that opens up. All of your windows here have casing or framing around them, which is nice. And then here's one thing I really like. Your shades do not sway around when driving. They are in a track here. And, you know, these aren't the first time I've seen these. You just typically see these in B vans, sometimes C classes. And then you'll also have these with a screen that can go up and down, or you have the actual shade that goes up and down. So if you were to open the window, you can pop the screen up, but you don't always have to have the screen up so you have nice clear views. And the windows open just like any other window that pops open. So there's those frameless square windows with their very cool shades and very cool screens. Furniture, I'm gonna be honest, color, I think it's hideous, but it is nice furniture. I like that they didn't use wooden chairs. They actually used some nice chairs with a metal frame on them. So bonus points to you guys at Brinkley for that. You got a wireless charger built into your theater seating. You have storage above your theater seating. Really nice lights. They didn't opt for your typical ceiling lights, though they are there. There's some nicer lights here for reading lights. And one thing I've noticed when I did the walkthrough on this was that the fit and finish, all of the cabinets line up real nice. Everything's adjusted very well. These go through a very hefty PDI at our dealership and we only had like three or four different little line items and adjustments on here, which is very rare. So they're off to a good start. Let's see if they can stay with it. I like that they use magnetic latches and not the spring latches. Again, like I was saying, all the windows are the same and they all have the nice casing on them. Coming over to the couch here, that's not real rabbit fur. If you've ever seen a rabbit that big, please send me a picture. The end table over here does have additional storage, which is nice. Some really nice sconce lights. Again, cabinets very well assembled and put together. I like all these soffits and things you have here. Uh, again, the fit and finish is something I'm going to comment on a lot. I haven't worked on one of these yet. I haven't had to work on one yet, so I don't have any input on that. It's really just about what I'm finding here. That fireplace, that thing's got to be at least 42 inches. I love it. Nice and wide, uh, and it's one of the crystal -y ones you can change the colors in. TV lift, so the TV does hide away. Again, some very nice, even cabinets. Again, with the magnetic latches. Let's see what the insides of the cabinets look like. I'm gonna critique you there. Uh, nothing to complain about. Everything is looking pretty smooth here, bud. Uh, get some light in here for you. But if you haven't noticed, I'm being very particular about like the fine details. Um, a lot of your salesmen will just kind of walk through these and I'm not a salesman, I'm a technician. So I'm gonna critique it a little differently. You do have a Furion uh, cooktop and oven, Furion microwave. Pretty good amount of cabinet space, I'd say, along with the drawers and cabinets you have here. You have pull-out garbage can, um, paper towel holder even pulls out. And look, you got a beautiful Brinkley sticker on the paper towels and they even threw in the roll of paper towels. Come on. Wait, there's more. I just noticed something. This paper towel holder comes out of here and goes right up on the counter. How about that? little quirky stuff all this stuff it feels very well built everything goes in and out real nice if you're into recycling you do have two bins in there I just noticed that as well there's gonna be a lot of things I just noticed as I'm going through here because I uh, this is the first time I've toyed with one of these and really had my hands on it I dig the gold they're doing here um, I'm not gonna try and cover too much about aesthetics because I'm picky anyway but I'm gonna cover that 
So yeah, as far as we've gotten in here kitchen-wise, you do have residential refrigerator, Furion. It's got the sweet little egg holders for those of you rich folk who can afford eggs right now. So that's pretty sweet. All of this goes together very well. What is down here? Oh, got something for the doggos with the silicone bowls to go with it. How about that? And it's got its own light. Oh, I'm not gonna figure out how to put that back in yet. I think it's stuck. So maybe I found three problems so far. Mild adjustment. Huge pantry, automatic motion activated lights. You have an outlet in your pantry, which is sweet. I don't know what you'd run in there, but it's nice to have anyway. All those shelves are adjustable. Uh, that's your switch for your automatic lights up there. So it just shuts off as soon as you close it. Got your nice coffee bar, more cabinet space, more cabinet space, little nook outlet in there. Uh, missed opportunity for a USB in there, but we do have an outlet down here. Nice motion LED light bar here with a really good soft glow. Um, that switch is for accent lights down there. So you have a nice storage area up there. I like that. I really like this with that accent light. So, so far we've made it through the living room and everything in the living room is looking really good. Um, just gonna check, this is a Thomas Paine pullout sofa and you have dinette, unfortunately does not turn into a sofa. It definitely has a either a leaf or storage in it or am I just misreading that? It's looking like it. Yes, it does slide out in some fashion. I'm not gonna get into that too much, but so the table does expand. Man, just in this area here, I've already concluded that fit and finish is gonna be their uh, expertise here. Nothing new or fancy that we haven't seen before. You know, it, it's got a nice aesthetic to it. I'm not a big fan of some of it, but fit and finish is what I'm focusing on. You do have a fantastic fan from factory, spotting that as well. So let's move upstairs. Before we get upstairs, I'll note we have a Furion air conditioner. Um, I don't have too much opinion on those. Uh, all RV air conditioners are pretty much the same, right? Um, bathroom, again, we're getting back into the fit and finish. Everything's done really nicely. You've got a pretty nice uh, Wayne's Cody deal going on over here. You've got the wide booty toilet with its own shut off on it. I do like seeing that because when those valves crack, it's nice to be able to shut that off and get it fixed without shutting all the water off of your coach. You do have this nice metal toilet paper holder that is actually magnetized to the wall so it's not running around while you're driving. Um, holds a couple extra rolls here and a roll here. I don't know why I covered that that much, but I thought it was neat. A few cubbies here, good amount of space here, and they have tucked the control for the Furion tankless water heater right here, which is where you're most likely going to want to access it before you get into the shower, right? Speaking of shower, I am 6'1", nowhere near that ceiling, and you have a tinted skylight above it with a nice accent light and what I call the human car wash. This sprays water this way and this way and this way. It's interesting. Um, other than that, nothing special about the shower. You do have the triple glass doors. I know they look good. I'm not a fan of them because if you forget this little latch and you go to drive away, you're going to shatter all three of your doors. Um, counter and sink, you've got three drawers, good amount of space. You do have a lower cabinet. Um, medicine cabinet here does open. Those magnets are a lot stronger than they need to be, but they're there nonetheless. What do we have? So you can go with just this little light, or you can actually go with just the accent lights as well. So that's the bathroom. Nothing big, nothing fancy, but it is put together very well. And look at I'm gonna point this out. They even used color matching screws on these hooks. Probably came with the hooks from manufacturer, but worth noting anyway, right? And then as we're coming out of the bathroom, I'll note that you do have a nice pocket door and look at the adjustment on the pocket door. Everything's looking good so far, as far as adjustments and that fit and finish term we were talking about. So coming into the bedroom, first thing I'll note, you have a dimmer right here on the wall switch. Um, and they, they're keeping that same aesthetic everywhere in this coach. Good amount of drawers here. And <clears throat> you have this hidden compartment here, which is nice. <clears throat> you have a fire extinguisher by the door, and then you can keep your burglar extinguisher here if you catch my drift. And you're gonna keep those same shades, even on your emergency exit window, where you have the shade, or you have the screen. 
Insignia TV. I mean, I know some of you guys don't see things like this, but just these outlets lining up up here real nice. All that stuff is a big deal to people who are used to seeing some of the poor craftsmanship on a daily basis. You do have these nice cubbies built right here into the wall. The switch down here does cover some uh, accent floor lighting around the bed. Kind of gives you the floating bed look. I'll show you. We'll shut the light off. Kind of gives you the cool floating bed look, I guess. Um, got an outlet next to the bed. And you had these shelves up above the windows here. And I noted it's another missed opportunity for a USB outlet. It's a perfect spot to charge your phone. You have some sconce lights above the bed, more of reading lights, and those are adjustable. They kind of articulate out. You got the uh, mirrored closet doors here, make the room look a little bigger. This light does come on automatically in here, and the light is actually built into the rack, and that is controlled by this motion sensor here once you open the closet. Closet's not the biggest thing in the world, but hey, there's plenty of space in here. You do have prep for the Dyson vacuum. I'm sure it's an option from factory. You've got some shoe cubbies down here and a shelf up here. Pretty good sized closet, but then let's go on to the wardrobe. The wardrobe does have a light and it is motion activated light. I figured it had to have one. This is also your washer and dryer prep here in the wardrobe. So you have washer and dryer hookups there and then your dryer vent outlet right there. And again, magnetic latches with soft close cabinets so big features there. coming out of there you have this nice little organizer next to the wardrobe keep uh, shoes slippers I guess um, but yeah that's the bedroom there's not a whole lot to cover in these right they're, they're simple they're not trying to throw a bunch of features at you and that was my thing is you know is this company gonna come out and start throwing a bunch of weird features at us or are they going to do what everybody's been asking and get back to the quality and craftsmanship I think they're going for the ladder. Let's check out uh, the door here. Closes, latch is nice. Um, and then you actually have a magnetic door holder over here as well. And what do we have here? Two folding hooks for your jackets, sweaters, um, whips, chains, whatever you're hanging up. I don't know, dog leashes. Brinkley, so far you have this the stamp of approval. You guys have done well. Everything as far as fit and finish in here and craftsmanship is looking really well. And I'm extremely picky when I look at things. An RV is an RV and I understand that. I work on them. But everything looks great in this thing. Um, the, the fit and finish, the craftsmanship, all the way down to the mild things like seam tape and sealants and caulking, everything was done really clean and really well. I completely understand a lot of people say that this looks like your typical reflection or crusader and you're correct there's only so many floor plans you could design in these things it's it's what they did with that same amount of space and the quality that they put into it so with all that being said clearly i i think the units are great they're some of the nicest built fifth wheels i've seen in a while again it's very early these are some of the first units hitting the market we'll see how that plays out i really hope it stays the same um, I, I see a lot of stuff saying, you know, they're very similar to other units. And again, that, that's correct, but there's only so many floor plans you can make, right? It, it's all about the, the, the fit and finish. You guys have heard me say that a hundred times, the craftsmanship and those minor details. You know, going through that coach, you're not going to, at least I didn't in that particular coach, see a bunch of nail holes that weren't filled properly. I, I almost didn't see any nail holes at all. The trim tapes, um, all the cuts all everything like that all the trim everything was done very well i'm not affiliated with brinkley in any way i'm not i'm not in sales this is my genuine review of the coach after walking through one after right straight from manufacturer to the dealership that was as you guys saw it wasn't even washed yet that was the first view i've had on one of these we're going to keep continuing getting them, so I'm probably going to have some updates. I'll probably have an updated review, and of course, uh, once we get some of the other models in, I'll have to cover those as well. I've, I've just started doing these tours, and I, I really want to do them from a tech perspective. I didn't know how long to make this one. I, I didn't know if it should just be short and quick, but that's how the salesmen do it. Typically, the salesmen run through them. You know, you got your tankless water here, your three slide outs. I, I want to get into more of the details. So if you guys have any feedback or input or things you would like to know, or if you'd like to see things more in depth, 
please leave them in the comment below. I'm going to take the feedback I'm getting based off of this one because this video is a first of its kind and I'm going to base future tech reviews off of that so that I can bring you guys what you want. More than just a walkthrough of all the pretty stuff. I want to get down to the nitty gritty, but I want to know where you guys want that at. You know, do you really want me to get in depth? Do you want hour long videos going through the coach and getting all those minute details? Or do you want the basics? You know, what slide mechanisms and what I think of them, what appliances and what I think of them um, and, and things like that. So if you guys have any input, please leave it in the comments. You're always, always feel free to message me. You can go to thatrvtech.com and I have a link there where you can contact me directly. And I appreciate every bit of feedback and I appreciate all of your guys' support. So thank you. And as always, don't forget to press that subscribe button.